The new EG4 100 amp hour wall mount battery can connect to other inverters besides just EG4 inverters, including Victron inverters. So the first thing you need to do is turn off the battery breaker for all connected batteries and turn off the BMS. Once you've turned off the batteries and verified there's no power at the terminals, for the battery that you have connected to the inverter, this first battery is more than likely gonna have the first dip switch down and all the rest up. You need to assign this first battery to address number 64 so that you can change the protocol. And to do that, you're gonna slide that first dip switch up. So all dip switches will be in the up position. You're then gonna press the power button to turn just the BMS on. Once the BMS boots up, you're gonna press and hold this back button for five seconds to get into the programming menu for the protocols. So now we're to the screen where we can select either the RS-45 or the CAN protocol. I'm gonna go down to the CAN protocol and hit enter. So you can see there are multiple different options on here. I wanna go down to Victron, hit enter, and then back. We'll then turn off the BMS reset our dip switch back to what it was. So in my case, the first dip switch will come back down to one. And then we can turn the BMS back on. Once the BMS boots back up, if we press the back button once, we will then see what the protocols are. We can see the RS-45 is set to EG4 and the CAN protocol is set to Victron. You do need a Serbo or a Venus OS enabled Raspberry Pi, as well as a custom Victron VE CAN cable. There are two different types, VE CAN A and VE CAN B. I have a VE CAN B cable. On the screen you can see at the top BMS CAN is not connected. I plug this into the EG4 battery. It should start pulling information and I'll plug it in in three, two, one, now. As soon as I plug it in you can see we have 100% stated charge 54.69 volts and zero amps. If we step into this battery, we can see we have 100% state of charge, 100% state of health, 66 degrees on the battery. We tap the details. We can also see lowest and high cell voltages, lowest and high cell temperatures, how many batteries we have connected together, and the total installed available capacity of each battery. We can look at the parameters and see that the charge voltage limit is 56 volts. The charge current limit, because the battery is full, is only five amps, and the discharge current limit is 100 amps.